Hey, Robbie Lockman here with Harness, and today we're going to be taking a look at Open Policy Agent, or OPA, and how where Harness can help fit together with OPA. If you're unfamiliar with OPA, OPA is basically a decision engine for authorization. So the difference between authentication and authorization is that authentication is who you are, authorization is what you get access to. As you can imagine, if you have multiple endpoints, you have to make authorization changes throughout multiple endpoints, even for the smallest change, for example, if you're debugging. And this is where Open Policy Agent comes in. Uh, for this example, we're actually going to be using their Kubernetes controller uh, called Gatekeeper, and we're going to be deploying Gatekeeper using Harness. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started in the Harness platform. Again, the Gatekeeper and OPA setup is actually pretty straightforward in the Harness platform. So we go to the Harness platform, the first thing you actually need to install is a delegate. Now, in my Harness platform. I actually do have a delegate, but if you did not, if you get on the setup and if you go down to Harness Delegates, um, here I have one running. I actually called it OPA, but you can go to Download Delegates and download the Kubernetes YAML. Uh, once you download the YAML, all you have to do is execute kubectl um, and apply the Harness Delegate YAML. It'll be created for you, and then you can just get the namespaces to validate uh, what's there. Kind of the next step after that, uh, let's go ahead and just wire up a few things that we need. So the first thing that we actually do need it's, let's go ahead and wire up our Kubernetes cluster as a cloud provider. So we'll go ahead and add it as an endpoint. We're going to call this Kubernetes cluster. We're just going to just call this maybe our OPA cluster. And what we're going to do here actually is inherit the details from the delegate. Now we have our delegate called OPA. We're going to go ahead and hit submit. And we're all wired up with our OPA cluster. Uh, second one we want to do, since we want to go ahead and install Open Policy Agent, uh, for this example, let's just go ahead and look at their GitHub page. We can actually reference uh, a GitHub project if you want to install something. So we go ahead and copy the URL. Uh, we can go into Setup. Now we're going to be setting up our source repo provider. Go to Connectors, Source Repo Provider. Let's go ahead and add a source repo provider. And let's maybe just call this Gatekeeper. I go ahead and give the URL. Now we do need I do need credentials uh, for this, so I'm going to go ahead and enter my credentials here. Go ahead and hit submit. Perfect. And so now we have our credentials that we needed, and this is wired up. Uh, kind of the next step is now uh, we're going to go ahead and start building uh, the OPA workflow. Uh, to build a workflow is pretty easy. So if we go back to setup, uh, let's go ahead and add an application. So maybe let's just call this. OPA installation. Go ahead and click submit. So the first thing we want to add to wire up is actually an environment. So let's go ahead and add an environment. Let's just call this our OPA dev. And say it's a non-production. Go ahead and click submit. Now all I do now is add our infrastructure definitions. So if you click on add infrastructure definitions, I'll just call this OPA dev infra. Cloud provider will be Kubernetes cluster. Actually, our deployment type here will be Kubernetes. Now, if you take a look back at Open Policy Agent, uh, there is actually a way to install it via Helm. Actually, the project gives us a, a chart template. Uh, but also, if you remember, Helm v2 needs Tiller. One of the benefits of the Harness platform is actually you don't actually need to install Tiller if it's going to run a straight chart.yaml. So this is what we're going to be doing here. So we're going to go ahead and give a deployment type of Kubernetes. The cloud provider is our OPA cluster. Uh, we'll go ahead and deploy it to name to our default namespace for now. Go ahead and get that submitted. Uh, the next step for us would be let's going back and filling out everything that we need in, in our continuous delivery abstraction model. Uh, the next thing is let's go ahead and get the service that we do need. So let's add a service. We'll just call this maybe the OPA Helm chart. Oh, if I could spell it correctly here. And it'll be a deployment type of Kubernetes. Remember, you don't have to do it via Helm. And if you just come to the right where it says manifest, we can link a remote manifest. Now we want to go ahead and grab this manifest here. So let me just make sure we get the URL for that. Uh, we're going to be grabbing a Helm chart back from a source repository. Um, you know, we already wired up or a gatekeeper repository. That uh, will be a master branch. And this will be the folder path. So we're going back to its chart gatekeeper, chart gatekeeper, hit submit. 
And almost the last step now, uh, we're gonna make a workflow. So we come back to the OP installation workflows. Let's go ahead and add a workflow. Uh, let's, let's just call this our OPA rolling. And we're gonna be doing a rolling deployment uh, for our OPA environment on our Helm chart. And we're going to the dev our dev infrastructure. Pretty straightforward, pretty simple to wire all this up. <clears throat> and with this, uh, you're actually ready to deploy. So let's go ahead and just go ahead and deploy. So this is called a go for gold and notification don't to me. And there you have it. Just like that, uh, OPA Gatekeeper is being installed on our EKS cluster. It looks like it's grabbing exactly what it needs. And once that's running, we can actually kind of look at some of our next steps, uh, potentially deploying some constraint templates that the project has or the Gatekeeper project has, which would be pretty straightforward. This might be the purpose of maybe a next video we do to uh, look at where the integration points actually actually are, but just like that, we were able to deploy Gatekeeper uh, in a Kubernetes cluster, which is fantastic in the Harness platform. You know, here at Harness, so we're here to partner with you as new paradigms come on board. Uh, we're here to help you deploy and leverage that. So without further ado, this is Ravi and cheers from Harness.